Okay, um, making sustainable choices when it comes to furniture um, is uh, slightly more difficult, I think it's fair to say. Um, but uh, our next picture um, has got some very clear ideas to make that easier. Please give it up for the representative from Shell Duck. Designers. We, designers, are the creators of the future. Right now, we can create just about anything. Think of 3D printing, think of CNC milling, we can produce anything that we want. The power of creation is quite astonishing. But the downside of such great power is that it comes with great responsibility. Because everything that we design has impact on people and planet. The problems of sustainable design nowadays mostly boils down to just three points. You've got design restrictions, you're not allowed to make a certain shape or use a certain material. It's inaccessible, you need specific machinery. And lastly, it's pretty expensive. Do a high amount of labor, the high amount of time that it takes. But why of all people am I the one sitting here next to all the other circular designers? I'm Oliver Gossink, I'm the founder of Sheldock, and we're a circular design studio based here in the Netherlands. And we recycle, uh, print just about anything. We look at the fire hoses that we use <laughs> here, coffee, uh, coffee grounds, just about anything. But we as design studio think that circularity can only be achieved by working together. So instead of recycling waste materials in our workspace, we want to allow you, the used designer, to create your own stuff in a sustainable way. We have developed a 3D printing technology which allows us to 3D print just about anything that's based on cellulose. Think of trees, think of coconuts, think of straws. Just about anything that's bio-based, we can recycle it and 3D print it to furniture. We're going to give this technology in a way of a service that people can come to us with a design. Through an online interface, we give a broad variety of designs that you can customize to yourself. So you don't need any specific knowledge. You can broaden it. You can make it higher, taller. Just make it to your specific need that you want. You pick a material of choice, and we 3D print it and ship it towards you. The benefit of this is that it's low cost due to high amounts of optimization. It's web-based and it's 3D printer. It's accessible. Of course, internet, you don't need much more than a laptop. And it's cheap. So that's actually the most big problem right now. Um, does it work? Oh, yeah. Whereas well, right now, we have made a uh, waste material that's fully bio-based and also fully, bi fully biodegradable. It performs just like wood, smells like wood, works like wood, and it's pretty sustainable to use. Secondly, our 3D printing technology just finished our lab scale, and we just received funding for scaling up. So it's not a question. If we go to the market, it's a question when. And recently, we finished our first pilot at Dutch Liberation Day, where we tested how well our furniture lasts in a festival environment. But the pilot got us thinking. We want to go further. We want to make sure that the technology works. We want to make sure that we can get to the market. So we're looking for designers, entrepreneurs, pioneers, those willing to take the risk to make circular economy the standard. Who of you would like to help us and join the adventure? Thank you. Great stuff. Thank you Thank very you. much. Sheldock, take a seat.